hi guys you're new on our channel my name is Alionide. please click on the subscribe button please share our videos please like our videos please drop your comments and god bless you and please do not forget to turn your notification bell so when we have new videos you can receive your healing now outside receive your healing all the overflows receive your healing online receive your healing across the airwaves receive your healing in the main auditorium here receive your healing in the name of jesus christ now everybody while you are standing i want you to begin to pray and declare that what you have received is finding expression in your life hold on and then for all those i want you to check yourself you find out that there's a miracle that has happened to you leave your seat in a hurry and come and stand here very quickly we're going to have a few people so please if you come late you might not have a chance to testify very quickly check yourself you see that there's a miracle do what you could not do if you came with someone help them release their faith as soon as a miracle happens please make your way very quickly to the front we'll take a few testimonies and then we'll be praying over the request but go ahead and pray everyone decree and declare that this that i have received these that i've received let's celebrate miracles while we pray those coming from outside please protocol direct them so that they come quickly and then if you're coming from any of the overflows please let the ushers or protocol know that you are coming to testify and then they make room for you there are many who are coming give jesus praise while you pray 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 over yourself gentlemen you sing that song once for me again from start till yakare and then we are ready to take a few testimonies check yourself check yourself check yourself hallelujah while we are taking the testimonies how many of you are, you are ready with your prayer requests by the way how many of you believe that god answers prayers amen do you believe that right so very quickly whilst we're here please if you are yet to submit your prayer request here's what you do just pass it to anyone by the left or the right extremes of your aisle and then ushers will just come to pick it don't worry it's your request nobody's reading it this is between you and god but just to facilitate it especially for all the overflows those online there should be a link for you to send in your request we'll do that very fast while we're taking the testimonies and i want you to celebrate every testimony no matter how big or small they all came by the power of god are we together now so I want you to celebrate very generously as God is moving through his people and we'll make this really, really very fast. The more you thank God for his hand in the midst of his people, this is one thing I learned from Kenneth E. Hagen, from T.L. Osborne, and most of the people who were mightily used by God, especially in the area of healing. Right from the times when God began to do supposedly little things, little healings, I would celebrate every manifestation of his hand very generously, and sincerely with a heart of gratitude so this is one of the ways that you scale in the operation of the healing anointing to be grateful for everything that he does ready guys okay so let's take let's take the testimonies yes sir very quickly your name right. and straight to the point i'm antonia anthony so i came here with pains from my armpit to you came here with pains yeah from my armpit how long has that been for two weeks now okay so when you said two people will be under the anointing yes i was under the anointing and when i got up like, completely lift your hands down yeah. lift it again Not gone forever yeah, yeah. in the name of jesus perfection for you in jesus name we pray amen give jesus a big hand clap next person please good evening son my name is daniel i came with pastor hillary I always found myself as public speaking because I'm a stammering person. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. You were a stammerer? Sir, he was healed from stammering. Really? Yes. I, I always found myself. Hallelujah. How long has this been? It has been a long time. Even when I was in school, I was a fellowship president. So I always found it difficult. But now, I could speak very well. Hallelujah. My God. Most of you don't know, this was Moses' problem. Oh. Moses complained about this thing before God. Stammering. It limits you. You want to express yourself, but you are incapacitated. This is a miracle, my God. I pray for you, my friend, in the name of Jesus Christ. This is how every other thing in your life will flow seamlessly. Amen and amen. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next person. Yes, sir. 
Good evening, Kononia. My name is Kletus. I was having growth on my throat. I was feeling... Uh, growth? Yes, he had a growth. So okay. he had problems swallowing. Wow. So I find it difficult to swallow. But when you mention the case concerning growth, now I can swallow my spit. You can swallow yes, sir. freely in Jesus' name. Healed and perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. One more person and then we'll move to the other side. Praise the Lord. I'm by name Timson Johnson. I used to have a pen inside my mouth but immediately how long has that been it has been for like one week yes after the prayer immediately it's gone it's gone completely it never returns to you again in the name of jesus yes go ahead apostle you gave a word of knowledge of those with eye defects now she went to the hospital last year and she was diagnosed of suspected glycoma and dry eye syndrome so she couldn't see in fact, when she came, she see had that difficulty. But yes. now she can see the screen. She can see you. You can see me. Yes, sir. Clearly. Yes, sir. How long has this been? Um, the diagnosis was in November. Yes. But recently it became worse. I had to buy some supplements last week. Mm. As I came this evening, I was outside and I couldn't see the screen very well. And now? My right, but now I could see well. Then, can you count how many fingers? Yes, four, one, three. No, no. Okay, this is making a mistake. Two, five. Give Jesus praise. Then I Amen. also had, I also had, I also had a pain in my abdomen here. I also went for scan last year. They didn't see anything, but I've been having this sharp pain, so uncom- yes. uncom- uncomfortable, uncomfortable. So as you were praying, I just felt this sharp pain just left me outside. Everything outside. that is not planted by God, that is how it will live your life forever. Amen. May God bless you, my dear. Never returns to you again in Jesus' name. Next person, very quickly. You gave a word of knowledge of a woman feeling, having a sign of pregnancy. Now, she has had that for the past three years. But when you make mention of that, the power three of God years. came on. Yes, over three years. I've been always feeling as if I'm pregnant. Sometimes my stomach will even come up. My friend will be touching me. Are you pregnant? I'll say no. My but God. when you said the word... Do you know how I was feeling? Even when I was coming, I was somehow feeling. Even my abdomen was burning me, but I can't feel it anymore. Place your hand there. I can't feel it. In Jesus' name, healed forever by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Yes, please. God bless you. Next person. Apostle, this is a footballer. He was hit on the pitch, and so he had difficulty in walking and squatting. But when you ministered, the power of God came on him, and now he can squat. Where? Where? So I, it was on my left leg. I was trying to guide the boss, so he hit me. I felt my groin, my left ankle. Yes. That at any time. What were you not me. able to do? So I could not twist it. I could not even climb the staircase to the house. Run. I was complaining. Run like a footballer. Squat. Look at this. Amen. Where do you play? So for now, I'm just playing on home based team. You really want to move forward in your profession? Yes, Is sir. Is that what you want to do? Yes, sir. Yes. There is a king maker anointing. You see, listen, listen. King makers never become kings themselves but they enthrone and dethrone kings. I pray for you, my friend, if you believe in the name of Jesus, the grace that lifts men from nothing and announces them to their generation, may that grace, even as touching your sports, may that grace rest upon you now. Go and excel. May God bring strategic destiny helpers that will take you out of this country and announce you to your world. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Let's give Jesus a big hand clap. Next, please. Very quickly. Apostle, another case of a sign of pregnancy since last year. A sign of pregnancy. My name is Jacqueline. I'm from Tanzania. You're from Tanzania? Yes. Okay. So, since last year, September, I've been having, like, signs of pregnancy. And every time I go to... I'm not married, but every time I go to the hospital, they'll tell me, like, it's nothing. But I feel pregnant. Like, 
the I feel you know yes yes I feel like pregnant so you mentioned that that case today but another thing when I came here I was okay when you told us to shout like hallelujah the seventh one like I fell and, and when they brought me here I started having a very strong headache so we have at our home a pattern of migraine a very strong migraine for years mm. and for me it will always come at the point whenever I'm fasting I'll get serious migraines until I, I'm taken to the hospital yes. so after falling down there it started like paining me so hard but when I stood and I go back to my seat you told us that uh, if just hold the place where I sit then I held my head and I told God because I didn't believe that okay can it really happen now so I was like I told God if you do it for me really now I'm going to testify I told God because I didn't believe that and okay right can now. happen now but right now as I say I'm not feeling pain at all nothing completely completely Jesus still heals now. God bless you, my dear. Perfection for you in Jesus' name. Amen. Let's take one more there. Our woman here couldn't twist her hand for a very long time. Yes, go ahead. This middle finger, it has been a pain for the past uh, three weeks, close to a month. Yes. I've not been able to bend it like this. But when you said we should keep doing whatever, when you were praying, yes. I kept doing my hand like this. I didn't feel the pain. Now I can bend it very well. Because I can even take it back. And it's a great relief to me. In I've used so many ointments, but it's still not working. But I thank God. Perfection for you right Amen. now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Hold on. Before we take this, listen. I want you to know that miracles are real. They really happen. You will be amazed to know how many people who are in church who sit in the presence of real miracles, but they are still yet to be sure. Miracles are real. Not everybody is faking this thing. There are real miracles that happen by the hand of God. Are we together? My dream is that sooner or later, miracle services will no longer be for koinonia members. It will be an act of evangelism that for many people who are of this fold when you come there will really be nothing to heal and nothing to pray for because you would have so mastered the keys of the kingdom what you do it will just be an opportunity for growth and increase while bringing many others to receive that's how it ought to be are we together now yes go ahead my friend yes sir so apostle you gave a profound word of knowledge yes, sir. regarding someone that actually stuck a cutting board in his ears right one it was you yes sir okay when you mentioned my case that the person that is using cutting boot this early in january then it started bringing blood so me and my friend i say ah uh -uh, he says sorry i say by god's grace my papa will heal me and you mentioned the person that he go to hospital feeling that something that it will affect his chest or all this thing you say perfection is healing is coming yes. how do you feel now I'm healed. I'm okay. Completely. Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, the Lord brings you perfection. He brings you life, even by His Spirit. Amen. In Jesus' Thank name. You. God bless you. Next person, please, very quickly. Hallelujah. I came here with a, a pile problem that happened two weeks ago. I complained this to my friend. And my friend says to me that, how long have been? Just came to me for a three days. For a three days that it just came at once and i started feeling the pain when i go to the restroom i cannot i cannot uh, uh excrete very well then i would it's not the one that used to come out but it's uh, that one that it pains me it pains me yes but and what happened to you i now? kept on praying when i came here, so sir he actually came with the pain after you prayed he went to check himself and he's and you're fine completely fine. both of you my, yes my own is fine so as i go inside the bedroom i check everything was gone in the name of jesus it will never return to you again by the power of the holy spirit let's listen to mama's testimony someone help her have you checked her let's hear her okay all right mama go ahead okay okay um daddy mama said that she could not see properly with her two eyes and that she always needed aid to move around when you prayed about the right eye, the left eye opened. So she walked by herself without aid from the back to the front. So she said she was going to give the testimony. Although you said the right eye, the left eye opened. 
that she was able to come here yes, by, by herself, herself. My unaided. God. Who came with her? She came alone? I, I came with my daughter. She added me to church. To church? Uh, no, that's fine. That's all right for sake of time. Okay, so what happened to her now, Mama? What has happened to you? Very quickly, my God. The, I, the left one has opened. Two of them was involved. They Two were of involved. them were blind before? Yes. One is open now? Uh, open a letter that made me to walk from where... No, don't worry, Mama. Listen. To here. Sir? That's your mom, that's my dear? Me. Yes, sir. Is yes, that sir. true? Yes, sir. How has it been for her before now? Very quickly. She even had a surgery last year yes but since then she has not been saying well even yes. when we came i was holding her but after the prayers she was able to walk from that place to this place my god in the name of jesus christ please help me place your hand on her eyes i declare perfection that god who began this you see how powerful this thing is you see that one miracle has begun in her life it's not been perfected yet but when you give God thanks for something that has started, are you seeing that now? Yes, this is called the walking of miracles. In Jesus' name, Mama, we pray that God will perfect you completely. The God that opened the left eye, may he open the right eye and perfect you completely. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Amen and amen. God bless you, Mama. Thank you. Thank you. We have, okay. Apostle, when we did vaccination, she tested hepatitis B, positive but okay. as you were ministering then she went back to the medical stand and this is the doctor they conducted the test twice and she's negative negative for hepatitis i'm negative you are praying for for swelling around the tooth then a sharp pain came out from my back i bent i shouted then i checked the swell it was not there it's gone then i now run to the medical stand mm. that's when they checked this hepatitis b twice and it was gone completely yes let me hear from the doctor good evening daddy so she came to the stand that she wants to run hepatitis test so i did the first one it was negative so i wasn't sure i had to call my colleague i come and check what i see he told me the result so to confirm again how to do the test a second time and to god be the glory it came out negative as amen well. In the name of Jesus, perfected by the power of the Holy Spirit. Okay, God bless you. Yes, please. You mentioned a case of pain in the air as a result of cutting board. She has the challenge, and when you ministered, the pain is gone. Gone she forever. Can hear clearly now. Yes, right. When you mentioned the case of um, cutting board in the right ear, it happened to me last year, and since then, I when it happened, I poured oil and then I tried to turn my head the other side to think to see if it would come out. It didn't come out, and since then, anytime I blink, I feel the movements, but I've not known how to how to bring it out. When you mentioned it, the the the, the movements, it kind of it was up and down. It is, but when you you when, used to feel it, yes, that there's something inside your ear. Yes, every time I blink my eye. When you mentioned it, I was still thinking, contemplation, should I come out yes. or not? Because it was still moving. But then I remembered what you said. That once you mentioned our case. We should just come out with faith. And since I've been, been on the queue, I've not felt anything again. In Jesus' name, you will never, never feel that demonic thing again. It dematerializes and leaves you forever. In Jesus' name. Let's take a few with Pastor Jakes. Yes, sir. Good evening, Koenonia. My name is Banu Adam Rema. Uh, I came here with neck pain. But neck the pain? Yes, exactly. Okay. And now? And now I'm not feeling Move it left and right. Any pain? Completely gone. You are perfected forever in the name of Jesus Christ. Very quickly, next person. Good evening. I was having pain this afternoon when I came to church. Even while I, while I was dancing, I tried to even... This, this bottom here. I was having the pain. So I even danced. I was dancing. The pain was still there. But I keep dancing. After the prayer, the pain has gone. Gone completely. Yes, ma'am. Same thing happened. I had pains all over my abdominal region. I, I was fatigued, tired. I was just trying to cope. But when Daddy mentioned people with pains, I took it upon myself to That's say right. amen. I shake my body and I feel And it's gone forever. Already. In the name of Jesus Christ, I declare perfection for you both. Supernatural perfection. That pain dies. It leaves your body forever. In Jesus' name. God bless you. Very quickly. All right, uh, sir. Let's Similar see if we can case. take two or three more. Praise mm. God. Praise God. 
Okay, I came from Benin because I was having a lot of health challenges, especially with my feet. A strong feet. anointing is going to come on two people. One of them will start running. Please hold the person right now. Very strong anointing is going to come on one person. And that, that is a very dramatic empowerment. It's a very unique grace that will speak in the person's place of work. This is what I'm seeing. One of them will start running. Hold the person so they don't injure themselves. Hold that lady. She's an usher. She's an usher herself. That lady is an usher. So let her receive before she gets back to do her work. She's an usher. You see that ushers too can receive. Just because you are walking, the Holy Spirit does not care. If your heart is open, you can receive. She's an usher. Please help her. Once she receives her own, she can go back and do her work. What a good way to serve. Like you are serving and you are receiving yourself. Hallelujah. There is still one more person. Please don't, don't mind me. Let me do my thing. I know when God is done, there is still one more person. In the congregation, not balcony, not around. One person in the congregation. So God does these things because he's responding to the hunger of people. You see, it is God who knows the troubles, the things that plague God's people. The answer to our problem is always the anointing. Coming through the word, coming through prophetic ministrations. There's one more person. And then we get back to finalizing the testimony. Mm. Mighty God. You deserve the praise. Worthy is your name. Help me. You are in this place and you are a businessman. The door of business has been closed since November last year. Nothing has happened to move you forward. I'm seeing a door open in the spirit. This is for business people. This is the major reason why you came. I said before you, I'm quoting revelations for you. The Lord is setting before you a very strange open door. That from tonight, no power will be able to shut that door. I'm saying it to you, April is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies april is your month back to back testimonies upon testimonies i prophesy this to you if you believe it receive it and let it find expression in your life in the name of jesus christ people who never heard about your business there are angels that will noise your product noise your services abroad and you will receive mysterious calls calls that will lead to your rising calls that will restore you financially in the name of jesus please be seated yes go ahead praise god so i came from benin yesterday uh-huh because i'm having a lot of health challenges health challenges especially with my feet my feet i can't stand for more than three minutes and i can't sleep at night so i came to church by eight today because i really wanted a change while you were ministering i was not able to stand i was sitting down on my seat and then you said we should receive strength to do what we could not do before my leg that was paining me because of diabetes you had diabetes my god look at this your leg is not paining me again and i can't stand which of them my dear Go ahead and walk. Diabetes. She came here from Benin. From Benin. He does these things that men will fear him. He does these things that men will praise him. You see, you never know the price of a real miracle until you need one. The day the doctors tell you we've done our best and there's nothing else we can do. The day all the helpers, the Bible says that woman with the issue of blood, she was not careless. She spent all her earnings, not some, not part, all her earnings on physicians. And the Bible says she did not feel better in any way. 
when you exhaust your options and medical science as limited as it is is not able to help you that's when you will know the value of a miracle sometimes you see people looking very healthy but then they are plagued with cancer plagued with whatever some of you may not immediately be able to check yourself because of the peculiarity of your situations don't share the grace and just go back home and forget go to the hospital if our medical team is not able to check you which i doubt make sure that you go and check yourself and confirm your miracle my dear in the name of jesus the lord brings you perfection and everything you've lost or wasted as a result of this let it be restored to you amen in the name of jesus christ amen amen and amen hallelujah let's have three more here and three more there then we speak over the rest for sake of time go ahead so sir maybe we, yes we sir just yes if, if there are similar cases you can just combine them They've together all been healed so he had a spirit leave him he had a spirit leave you yes. sir then okay you what did you feel i came here with a terrible headache headache noise noise in the, in the head uh-huh so the moment you began to pray against yes. evil altars i literally felt that just left you felt when the spirits left yeah and the headache is totally them gone by they go for good Amen. they are not needed Amen. they should go somewhere else but as far as your destiny is concerned you are free and free forever Amen. in jesus name amen and amen yes please so sir we have a few testimonies online though um so okay. all these ones they've been healed knee knee she pain had a problem with her knee and she yes. got healed yeah daddy my, my name my name is uh, darling i'm having i'm a footballer i'm having a serious footballer pain. again yes, father we thank you in the name of jesus for this miracle and we pray not only will god heal you like he's done but may he lift you and may you be exalted in your career in the name of jesus I understand there are many many miracles now listen because we're limited there's only so much a miracle service those days uh, when the fathers held miracle services it stretched for hours and even days and so we try to manage within the time that we have um, so my apologies if you do come out and we're not able to do justice to your testimony remember you can always submit it and for those of you who connect online everybody here and the entire koinonia global family I presume that you should be connected to all our platforms. If you are not right away, after service, you can connect. Connect on YouTube, connect on Facebook, Instagram, and do let others know. Do let others know that this is what God is doing so that they can connect, receive updates, faith-building updates. One thing you can be sure of is that on all our social pl media platforms, there is nothing there that is non-edifying to your spiritual life. Our media team have been trained anything you find on a social media platform if you find nonsense on any platform it does not belong to us it may just be scammers or people writing nonsense but anything you find on any koinonia global platform whether here or any other expressions as zaria platform us canada uk or any other expression we have a creed we have a rule the only things that are posted are the things that will help you to be transformed to know jesus and to inspire you through a great life okay so please do well to take advantage of all our social media platforms very quickly yes sir okay sir we just have one last one maybe a few online before yes okay Sorry, sir. so quickly just okay my name is swachet um while i was down when you prayed about back pain immediately i felt relief but i was still reluctant to come up my yes. husband and said just go and testify so I, I came and actually the back pain is no more there and yes i'm free bend and see check any pain gone forever yes, god bless you it never returns to you again so kenny let's have one or two okay. online apostle apostle this is from peace my daughter's case was mentioned it's called an enlarged adenoid which causes her to snore at night once she is sleeping my baby of nine months has been fighting with this since she was four months and has been on antibiotics every month. Doctors even said she may be operated upon when she gets to one year old. But today, God has healed her completely. Amen. At the mention of that case, I have checked her and she is sleeping right now but not snoring anymore. Come on, give Jesus Hallelujah. Space. Apostle, this is a second one yes. from Goma. Apostle Joshua Selma mentioned a pain which he said comes when I sit, and he thought it was pile, but I knew it was an injured coccyx, well, 
that causes me pain when I sit. In August 2020, I missed the top step in our staircase at home and I fell down on my bottom. And since that time, my coccyx causes me pain. When I sit in any chair at work, in the car, or in the train or a bus, I have been bouncing on our couch, couch and the pain is totally gone. Completely gone. Hallelujah. Let's celebrate Jesus. Jesus is alive. The last one here, Apostle, is yes. from Bright. I used to have this hooking pain on my chest. Sometimes it comes from both sides and sometimes from the right side mm. of my chest. I've gone for test and scan and they said nothing is wrong. But I kept getting the pain for over a year now. And just after the prayer, I received my healing. Now I can breathe in deeply without feeling pain. Amen. Praise God. Let's give Jesus praise. Can we have one, two last ones? Yes, please. Go ahead. Pain in the ankle, pain at the knee, and pain at the back. That sometimes it cannot stand for long. It even falls. And it's gone now. Pain is gone Perfected completely. forever. He Perfect. fell in the pool. And then he had difficulty in lifting up his leg. But and now, now you are able to lift it. Let's give Jesus praise. Completely healed by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. Low blood pressure healed. Low blood pressure. Yes, Perfected sir. forever. Never return to you in the name of Jesus. Pain in the teeth. And sep. Papa, I've been having severe back pain at my lower spine. Yes. If I bend down for a very long time, I will experience very severe pain. I will not be able to do anything. But right now, it's gone completely Amen. now for all of you who are left my sincere apologies again you can always come by next week or during the week register your testimonies and our media team will do justice to let the world know what god has done as you allow i declare perfection for all of you in the name of jesus whether you were able to make it out um, here to testify or otherwise in the name of jesus we declare perfection by the power of the holy spirit Rise up on your feet, please. Stretch your hands towards your request. I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that. Truly, I have searched and searched all the earth. Searched and searched all the earth. And I found that. Why do we pray? Because God answers prayers. Why do we pray? Because he's asked us to use prayer as a platform to make petitions and to obtain requests. Why do we pray? Because it's a platform that allows for intercession, meaning that you can reach someone who is not here, kilometers, nations, continents apart, like the centurion advocated for his son like Jarius's or the daughter Jarius's daughter you see that now make sure you understand why we pray it's not a ritual if you reduce it to a ritual it has no power to deliver again believing that let me request that you stretch your hands online on site outside all the overflows I will bow my knees to God as a sign of uh, um, humility and in a posture of intercession and in one minute, I'd like you to speak to the Lord before I make declarations. Father, visit me. Go ahead. Participate in your miracle. I like prayer requests because they are the most accurate representations of your faith. When we prophesy, we see impact and we're limited um, by time. When we minister to people, there's only so much we can minister, we can do. But when people submit their requests, um, You've taken your time to write these things. And the Bible says, what things soever ye desire. It says, when ye pray, believe that you receive them and you shall have them. Go ahead and pray. So I'll bow my knees and lay my hands as a prophetic contact. Please don't be silent. Make declarations. I will return with a testimony. The Lord is turning my sorrow to dancing, my mourning uh, to joy. In the name of Jesus Christ, shame and reproach on account of this miracle service and this prophetic contact is living my life that includes those who are falling online go ahead in the name of jesus christ father we thank you in the name of jesus i release faith over these requests representations of the pain the burdens the worries 
of your people let there be miracles in the name of Jesus are you releasing your faith with me let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus let there be miracles in the name of Jesus miracles of fruitfulness miracles of advancement miracles of restoration miracles of strength job opportunities marital open doors celebration of children twins and triplets and quadruplets opportunities to relocate abroad as your destiny requires restoration of marriages restoration of sick people some of you have lost money you have lost opportunities we command restoration strategic relationships that you have lost may god restore koinonia shout amen may god restore what happened to esther that lifted her may it happen to you ah someone who has faith to believe what happened to esther that took her from shushan to the palace may it happen to you what happened to ruth may it happen to you what happened to abraham that caused abimelech to give him riches and all kinds of resources may it happen to you what happened to gideon that empowered him to lead an army may it happen to you what happened to lot on account of his connection with abraham may it happen to you anyone here appointed unto death that according to the plan of hell that this is your last miracle service that by the next one you would have been buried i cancel that statement we cancel that statement cancel that statement for you and your spouse canceled for you and your children cancel for you and your parents cancel anyone here trusting god for a job i bow my knees to the god of our father and i pray for you in the name of jesus by next miracle service return with your employment letter and hear me believe in prophecy anyone who has a job that is fighting your relationship with god not allowing you go to church not allowing you serve god that the only way to remain in that job is to compromise may god relocate you to another job in the name of jesus there is a grace for influence and visibility that grace can pick you from your room and can cause the nations to know you we are privileged stewards of that grace and in the name of jesus the son of the living god i place that anointing on your life believe it i place that anointing on your destiny strangers will look for you from across the nations of the earth may they find you they will not rest till they find you and bless you and announce you and honor you in the name of jesus anyone who has called you the black sheep of any family anyone who has called you the reason for shame and reproach may my god by his hand upon your life may he vindicate you this season koinonia anyone called barren prepare for your children coming i say it again anyone called barren this is the year you carry your children i feel led to pray for people who are trusting god for structural establishment a house a car if you don't believe it allow those who believe it to receive but in the name of jesus for anyone trusting god for structural establishment in 30 days from now in the name that is above all names and i say this prophetically may my god surprise you beyond your savings beyond your current resources may my god surprise you houses you did not build vehicles you don't have the money to pay for 
let favor bring it to your doorstep hallelujah hear me you have any gift upon your life that can announce you to the nations but who to connect with may be what is missing i pray for you right now that gift stops being silent from today that gift stops being silent from today those who need your gift may they find you those who need your gift may they find you those who can reward you for your gift may they find you in the name of jesus therefore i declare over these requests by the power of the holy spirit the next request you will be writing will be for others not for yourself again in the mighty name of jesus christ we pray amen and amen amen and amen amen and amen, amen. the hands that are lifted no power will bring them down your hand represents your productivity i say it again the hands that are lifted not by witchcraft not the wickedness of men not the antagonisms of negative people no power will bring your hand down no power will silence your voice surely they will gather but they will not sustain the ability to diminish your influence in the name of jesus christ finally let me pray for you and i want you to receive this whatever makes you use your money to service sickness use your money to service police cases court cases you never have the opportunity to enjoy the blessings of god upon your life that god has been faithful but your money is always used to resolve tragedy from today may tragedy be too late for your life did you hear what i said may tragedy be too late for your life too late for your life too late for your business too late for your ministry too late for your family in the name of jesus shout a sevenfold amen two three four five six seven give jesus a hand clap of praise and a shout of victory hallelujah because you have believed it prepare to come and stand here testifying because you have believed it prepare to stand here to testify in jesus name i pray keep standing everyone you need jesus you need him now you need him more than anything else in your life we shouldn't end tonight's service without giving you an opportunity to come to jesus when I began my teaching, preaching about salvation and the gospel, everything I said struck a chord in your spirit. You are saying, Apostle, I want to rededicate my life to Jesus. Can I join them? I'm not ashamed to declare that I need Jesus. For others, you are saying, I'm coming for the first time. I'm at the back, far back. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm outside. Can I come? You are welcome. I'm counting one to five. For those who seriously need Jesus, not playing games with their Christian experience, that you are saying today, if the trumpet should sound, I want to be among those who will gloriously exit in joy and with victory. Leave your seat and come. God bless you. I'm counting one to five. Young and old, male or female, there is always room at the cross. Come. Come very quickly two i count five and then i begin my prayer take your bags your bibles everything you came to church with please be on your way to the altar come three koinonia let's encourage them as they come four Apostle, I want to come, but my family members are with me, around me. I'm ashamed to come, not with the matters of your destiny, your eternal destiny. Leave them and come. Leave them and come. You came with friends, you came with family, but make your way to Jesus. It's a personal affair. You need to be born again. You have to be born again. In the name of Jesus, you're unable to come right here. You can move to your LED screens any of the overflows outside for those connecting online 
or any viewing center across the nations of the earth do well to just move to the front i'm sure that there are people there who can help you and lead you to jesus else please pray this prayer with me thank you for all of you who are here place one hand on your chest and lift the other as a sign of surrender please say this as loud and as clear as you can say lord jesus one more time say lord jesus tonight i have heard your word i have seen your power i believe that you are the son of god i believe that you died for my sin i believe that you rose again for my justification right now i receive jesus into my heart as my savior as my lord and as my king i declare that the power of sin satan hell and the grave is broken over my life forever from today i am a child of god washed by the blood of the lamb i go forward ever and backwards never amen keep your hands lifted jesus thank you we honor you father for these ones who have come declaring your lordship over their lives and based on the integrity and the authority of scripture i declare your sins forgiven i call you bona fide recipients of the life of god the grace to walk perpetually in victory let it be released upon you i commend you to the ministry of the word i commend you to the ministry of the holy spirit may you be grounded and established in righteousness you go forward from hence and never backwards in the name of jesus christ amen and amen and amen let's give jesus a big hand clap